In our last video, our fuel pump quit working and we could not go out to the sandbar. So now we're going to show you how to replace the fuel pump on our Mercruiser 5.7 MAG MPI engine. Alright, here we are. We finally received the uh, fuel pump. So hopefully um, that will be the fix of our problem here. And that's the fuel pump right there. So here we go. Before we begin, make sure you turn off all battery switches and unplug the existing fuel pump. We're going to start by loosening the nut for the metal fuel line first. Next we're going to loosen the clamp and remove the fuel line. Make sure you keep your fuel line upright so gas won't spill in the bilge. Once you remove both fuel lines, the only thing holding the fuel pump is the rubber grommet shown here. Now all you have to do is just grab the pump and pull the pump towards you and off the bracket. All right, here's the culprit right here. So we're gonna go ahead and um, take off these fittings and um, put them on the new pump. So hopefully we're almost there. All right, we have a side-by-side -side comparison from the new pump to the old pump. Everything's exactly the same, the same size, same uh, nut on this side and same cables everything's exactly the same so what we're going to do is uh, is this one here we don't have to reuse because the pump already comes with one and a little seal that goes with it onto the new one so this side we don't have to touch anything and uh, these rubber um, grommets here we're going to take off and put it on the new one reuse that and same thing with this one here this rubber uh, goes on this side here so that way we could put it back in the uh, bracket on the engine that's the only thing that holds it by the way and the only thing we're going to reuse is this part here we just want to see how what condition is in once we take it off and then just put it on the new one here and I think that's it it's pretty simple all right here's something that I found this is the new pump and you can see this bolt here it's nice and straight in the center now uh, when I get this one here, look at this. And I had a guy work on my engine before and I can guarantee that um, my original pump was not bent like that. And um, this could be the problem with this pump. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, but um, it doesn't look right to me. I don't know what happened here. Supposedly, Supposed to be a brand new pump. Okay, the good thing here, this uh, part here, I put a little bit of WD-40, and uh, it came out pretty easy. Let's see the rest of this here. Yeah, this uh, gotta be careful here. There's a little uh, O-ring around here, so you don't want to mess that up. And uh, it came out pretty easy. It didn't. didn't wasn't too bad there is a little bit of uh, particles in there I don't know if you can see it but little like a little screen and then there's some particles in there all right, all right to be able to take out this uh, rubber grommet here um, you're gonna have to slide it out this way so this old one here has to be taken off so, you, so you're able to slide it off here but uh, for now I put it here so we could grab on this side and this side here. All right, came out pretty easy, so it wasn't that bad. And the kit with the new one, you get one like this one and two different sizes of O-ring. The little one's gonna go on this side here. The big one's gonna go on the other side of the pump on this side here. Be careful, don't lose. So now we can take off this rubber grommet. We're going to reuse on the new one. They're in good condition, so we can reuse. 
right, we found a little bit of rust around this fitting right here. Uh, probably you can probably see a little bit there. And what I use is this right here, corrosion block. This is a pretty expensive little bottle. It probably be like 20 something dollars but this thing right here wherever you have rust you spray it on it and what it does it eats the rust and it doesn't let it progress from there and um, makes these fittings look new again not only that it'll keep it from rusting again just spray a little bit on it let it sit for a little while and then just wipe it down that's all you do All right, here we are. Uh, we have uh, finished uh, transferring all the fittings onto the new one. Everything's been cleaned. Everything's set. And uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the uh, water separator filter. And uh, we'll do that next before we uh, install the new pump. Okay, that's the uh, fuel water separator that we're going to change now and that's where the pump goes right there and we're ready to do that now apply a little bit of clean motor oil on the gasket next we will fill the uh, oil filter canister with clean fuel then carefully screw the canister back onto its fixture. After you're done hand tightening the fuel filter, next connect both fuel lines to the new fuel pump. Then just press the new fuel pump into the bracket. Reconnect the fuel pump plugs and turn on your batteries. And now we're ready to restart the engine. All right, we have installed the uh, fuel filter, water separator, we installed the new fuel pump right there. Connected in the back side, connected in the front side with the uh, holes coming from the fuel tank. And uh, we're ready to start it up. Let's cross off fingers. All right, here we are getting ready for a sea trial after the installation of the uh, fuel pump. Let's see how it goes. All right, just to give you an update, um, guess where we're at? We're back to Tavernier Key. Took the boat out for the spin and everything works perfectly. So we're back this Saturday, our next video.
please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe today. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.